ultimately did it just come down to you wanted to be a Tennessee Titan and the Tennessee Titans wanted to have you? When I told my agent um, and my team that, you know, I want to be here in Tennessee, um, you know, I, I think the goal was to get a deal done. Just talking to Miss Amy one day in the cafeteria, you know, we're going to get it done. We're going to take care of you here in Tennessee. And that put me so much at ease and I appreciate Miss Amy so much. She cares about you. She's a fan of you. Is that one of the reasons that you're so loyal to this organization? <laughs> one thousand percent. When I first got here, when I first met Miss Amy, that's when I knew I like, this is the place for me. Draft night, I promise I won't let her down. And once we, you know, came to a conclusion that I'm accepting this deal, and I told her how much I appreciate her. And when she responded, she told me, you promised me that you would never let me down. You haven't done that. One of the moments I'll never forget is the night that you were drafted in 2019. You had such an emotional response. Thinking about that moment, the last four years and how far you've come, are those same emotions coming back, those same feelings? Oh yeah, 1,000%. One, 1, it didn't hit me until today. When you actually be around everyone in this building and you get up on that stage and you realize you know, my life about to change even more than it did when I got drafted in the NFL. When I stood up on that podium, like, this is real. I always wanted to be and get drafted to a team where I could call home. October 20, 2019, it's your first game. You had 21 snaps against the Chargers, six tackles. You sack Phillip Rivers. You had just returned from an eight-month recovery that was unbelievable how quick it was. Nobody thought you would play that soon. What do you remember about that day? A lot of goosebumps, I say. I remember talking to Coach Ray, it was like, it's your decision. And I remember sitting in his office and said, Coach, I'm ready to play. Arriving to that stadium, I just remember, like, I just kept getting chills. And it's like, I'm about to really play my first NFL game, get my first set against, a, um, to me, a Hall of Famer quarterback. I was just so grateful to Todd and them, the training staff here that helped me get my knee right. Here's another Big Jeff moment for you. October 18th, 2021, fourth and in inches at the Titans three against Buffalo. What do you remember about the atmosphere that night and just how electric that stadium was? First off, I'm gonna say the atmosphere was crazy and unbelievable. Titans fans, we need that every game. That was a long drive. I remember taking the knee and I was like, I was like, exhausted, but in my mind, I'm telling myself, you have to make a stop. And one thing, you know, playing this game, you always hear big time players make big time plays and big time moments. Because of the film study, I remember that it was like, if he doing that walking around, he gonna be walking around and he's gonna come on in the center, it's a sneak. And I tightened down a little bit. Only thing was, go make that play. That's one I'll never forget for sure. And the fans not gonna never let me forget it because they always gonna bring that one up right there, you know, just that moment. And you know, that's what this game about, creating them type of moment that you'll never forget. Just a couple weeks later, at Los Angeles, on Sunday Night Football against the Rams, Titans' first game after Derrick Henry's gone for the regular season. The Titans are given zero chance that night, but it seemed like someone forgot to tell you that because you had a monster game, six tackles, three sacks, and three tackles for loss against Aaron Donald and the eventual Super Bowl champions. Can you describe what it feels like to be having a game where everything is just firing for you and you're basically unstoppable? I think that night, the mindset was, how can Jefferson Simmons play better than Aaron Donald? I'm just going out there on that field, it's like not just for me, but for the whole team, everything just was clicking and clicking. I want to give you the opportunity to create the moment that you created April 2019. So here's your camera right here. If you just want to look right in there, <laughs> and tell people what Jeffrey Simmons' plans are for 2023 and beyond. Getting that Super Bowl here in Tennessee, it's gonna take a lot of work, um, but you know, I, I really deep down feel like it's gonna happen here in Tennessee because we have the team to do it, we have the coaching staff to do it. You know, whatever I say, I mean it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart.